When I got started with watercolor painting around 10 years ago, maybe more, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know what I needed or how to use it. Besides primary school, I don't recall ever using watercolor before. And I got started with my toddler's watercolor paints that he got at the supermarket. And if you're imagining a $2 paint set, you are right. And I got started painting on photocopy paper, which if you don't know this already, photocopy paper isn't great for watercolor because it can't handle all the water and paint. So it basically just turns to mush. Anyway, my point is, <laughs> I didn't have anyone to show me what to do, how to do it, why to do it. And I really just learned it all through trial and error. So to save you heaps of time, I thought I'd show you how I set up my space for watercolor painting. I know it sounds simple, but you wouldn't believe how many mishaps I've had from putting a teacup too close to my water jars and either sipping the water or dipping my paintbrush in the cup. And while I do still frequently drop my paintbrush on my page, yes, while it has paint on it, thankfully over time, the number of disasters has decreased. So let me show you how I set up my space when I'm ready to do some watercolor painting. Okay, so my setup is pretty basic. I just start off with my paper, whichever way around that I need it. So whether it be landscape or portrait. Now, if you're left-handed, you might do this mirroring or like the opposite to the way that I'm doing it. But because I'm right-handed, I have everything on the right. I've got my brush and I've got my bamboo cloth which is reusable so I wash it when I'm finished with it for blotting my brush on. I've got my paints, obviously my paper and my two jars of water. So it's all on the right hand side because when I'm painting for example if my water was over here and my paint was over here I wouldn't want to be reaching over my paper with a brush that's loaded up full of paint to get to the water in case I um, dripped my paint or something like that and it dripped onto the page. So basically Basically, the thinking is if all of it is over this side then there's less risk of me dripping my paint or my water onto my page. Sometimes when I'm working I will even put my jars over here and I've just noticed that one of my jars has dust in it so if you can see that there you go. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I've distracted myself completely. So sometimes I'll put my jars of water all the way over here. I usually just keep my paint somewhere here and my cloth. Generally, I have sitting under everything just because there's so much stuff in such a small area that I don't know where else to put it. And I don't like to have my paper sitting up on the cloth too much because it creates an uneven surface and all of that. So, oh my goodness, and <laughs> I've just put my brush in the wrong jar, but that's a whole other video. <laughs> Pretty much I keep everything on the right hand side. It is never this neat. It is always messy when I'm painting. Things are all over the place. Paint, even though I do this and have everything on the right hand side, I still spill paint on my page. And honestly, it doesn't matter too much, but I just thought I would show you how I set up my space so that you can have a bit of an idea of what might work for you. You might set up your space just like this and hate it. And that's okay too. You just have to do whatever works for you. But this is everything that I need for a basic painting. I might have different paints, I might have a different brush or of course different paper but pretty much I have my paper wherever it's comfortable in the middle and then everything else is on the right. And importantly my cup of tea is way off camera because I do not want to dip my brush into my tea or sip my water jars by accident. So there you go you can see how I set up my space for painting and hopefully I've given you some ideas for how you can set up your space too. And if you're feeling inspired and ready to start painting, but you're not sure what supplies you actually need, I have a free supplies guide for you and it's linked in the video description.